Can you guys hear me okay? Hello? We're going to be playing with glass blocks today. This is a fun um, project to do. It's really easy. It's something you can do with kids. Um, and there's no glue involved, so it's not difficult. And it's not permanent, so you get to change it whenever you want, which is fun. I'm going to make four different kinds of blocks for you guys tonight. Ooh, Sarah from Kennewick, hi. Glass blocks are a really fun project to do. Is It brightens up your decor, especially if you put the firefly lights in it. Then it looks good all the time. And I'm going to use firefly lights that include a remote so that you can change the settings of the lights so they can go faster or slower. We sell them in different colors or multicolor. Um, and even some with different color wires. And then uh, we have all different kinds of vinyl stains as well. And we do have four different glass block kits available as well as a number of different really cool vinyl rub-ons. Here's a couple of the vinyl rub-ons I'm gonna use tonight. Who's a fan of Friends? <laughs> this might look familiar. We're gonna use this vinyl tonight and I thought this was a fun one. So we'll use this. And this one's real cute. Maybe you have a little girl in your life or you just love Tinkerbell. And I'm gonna use this one as well. And we're gonna cover a few common questions. If you guys have any questions as we go along, feel free to type them out, let us know. Or if you have other ideas. Has anyone ever created with a glass block before? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we do have about a 20 second delay, but um, we're trying to watch your comments. So um, I have somebody let, let me know if uh, you guys ask any questions, okay? So this first one I already made, is just one of the simplest way to create a glass block. And that is simply choosing some kind of filler. In this case, I just found a cool uh, bush of faux flowers at the store and I just used Okay, between you and me, I snuck out into my husband's garage and grabbed his, his wire clippers. But you can just clip out, clip them off to the size that you want. And along with the lights, I just stuffed everything in there. When the when you get a glass block, it has this little um, closure. So you just open that up and you can stuff whatever you want inside of there. When creating with the glass blocks, one of the first things you want to do is go ahead and just clean off the glass block. And you can just do that with the good old regular blue glass cleaner and a paper towel. And that will just help and if we anything stick to it. And it helps the vinyl go on really easily. Okay, so as, as I was saying, you just, I in this case, I just grabbed a floral that I liked. So think about this at any time of the year, maybe in the fall, you grab a bunch of faux leaves. Or because you can change this as often as you want, you could just have your family go on a scavenger hunt for leaves and save them and put them in here. Or pine cones maybe. But at the store, all year long, we have something for every season. And I just thought this, these pink flowers were really pretty with this bicycle and say yes to adventure vinyl. So I just stuffed them in there with the lights. It's really that easy. And then we put the vinyl on. So I'm going to show you that concept in a different, in a different model. So we'll start from the beginning, but make, make it look different. Okay, so I'm going to set this one aside a little bit. And here is our first clean block and it has all I've all I've done so far is um, cleaned it off with uh, the uh, blue glass cleaner <laughs> then I'm going to remove the little plastic um, stopper and the vinyl I want to use is going to be this one it says let's get outside have you all used vinyl before You might, you might have um, a silhouette machine or a similar digital cutting machine in which you can cut your own vinyl. Or at the store, we also, in addition to the silhouette and sheets of vinyl or rolls of vinyl, we also sell um, pre-cut vinyl. Here's an example of rolls of vinyl. And we sell these in all different colors and finishes. And if you 
have a silhouette machine, you can design your own design and cut them out yourself. But in this case, I'm gonna use one that's pre-made. So if you have never used one before, you need to, you need to know a couple things. One is that the image looks kind of grayed out on here. It's because it's sandwiched between a piece of transfer paper. And this is kind of what the transfer paper looks like. So that's what's on the back of this. And before I transfer it, I want to ensure that it's going to transfer. So you want to take something with a dull edge. Um, oh, Samantha has not used vinyl yet. Okay, good. We will show you how to use it. The first thing you want to do is take something with a dull edge. So I have a bone folder here. That's what I my preferred choice. But you can even use the back side of a butter knife. Um, you can use like uh, the edge of a credit card. Works really well if you have the little mini squeegees. That works really well. Or a brayer would also work pretty well. But in either case, you need something with a dull edge. And you're just going to rub over the top. And what we're doing is ensuring that the, the top of the vinyl, or the vinyl that we're gonna be seeing on our project, is transferred to the transfer tape completely. So just go around and rub the whole thing. And pay special attention to little thin lines or the inside of letters, or really narrow letters like this. Those tend to be the hardest to transfer. What you transfer onto will um, affect the outcome. So it should be as clean as you can get it. And the smoother your surface, the easier it is to transfer to. So we're gonna be transferring to smooth glass that has been cleaned. So this is one of the easiest things to transfer to with. So just rub all over it. Okay, and then when you think you got it, you're gonna try to peel away the top layer. And what we're looking for is for to see if the vinyl has transferred to this sticky piece. So I'm just slowly going to do that. Now let's say it's going pretty well, but let's say that one of these, like this dot of this eye had left behind, then I would just close it back up and rub over that area again until I know that it has transferred. Okay, this one is real easy. Okay, so this piece we don't need anymore. And this is sticky, so I'm trying to hold it where there is no vinyl. And then I'm gonna put my glass block, and this has been cleaned. Make sure there's no glitter or cat fur. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to center this over my design. And we have so many vinyls that are cut specifically for these glass blocks. Lots and lots of them, so they're pretty easy to line up. So this one's a little, I see I have some bubbles and I haven't pressed it down. So in that case, I'm going to lift carefully because I don't want any bubbles or for the, the pattern to get um, any wrinkles. Then I'll push it back down again. There we go, okay. Then you're gonna go back to your blunt edge. Hey Stephanie, glad you're here. You're gonna go back to your blunt, blunt edge and you're gonna rub over the surface again. This time what we're doing is transferring the sticky side of the vinyl to the surface. When you lay your uh, vinyl sheet down, make sure you, that you're pushing out from the middle. Okay, so rub, rub, rub. And this is how you would transfer to, say, some a piece of wood or um, chipboard or paper or your wall or anything like that. But whatever you have, if it has some texture to it, the more difficult it will be to transfer. Doesn't mean it's impossible. It just likes to stick to smooth, flat surfaces better. Okay, so just like before, when you think you have it, you can start peeling it up. Now this time I'm going to pull like this so that I'm not putting too much pressure on one side or another. And if it, like right here, see it's not, it did not transfer all the way down. It removed from here, but not onto my glass. So I'm gonna put my transfer paper back and rub that area. And now it's transferring well. So I'm 
jerking it back and forth. And I'm just turning the glass block as I go as well. This is one of the most satisfying things, y'all. I love doing this. <laughs> Makes me feel like I made it and I didn't. <laughs> I think it's kind of dark. Is it kind of dark? Maybe I put a little piece of white paper under there. Will that help? this will help or not but I'll try it there I think that helps you can see that black a little bit better okay so again I'm just working the transfer paper back and forth making sure that it gets removed so at this point I've released the outside circle and the big bold trees what I have left is the more delicate stuff so on this I'm gonna be nice and slow and we'll just wiggle it just wiggle it carefully just to make sure that it's all coming and it's, it's going well but if I if again if it wasn't I would just put the paper down and rub over that area again look at this yes success not awesome then you don't need this anymore is that not beautiful <laughs> okay yeah that looks better with the white thank you yes it does look better with the white okay um so that's the simple part about putting the vinyl on and then the next thing is we're going to put the filler inside so uh this has the stopper at the bottom so doesn't mean you can't have a stopper at the top, but I want it at the bottom. So I'm gonna be filling it from the bottom. So for this one, I want sort of a northwesty look, right? So I, let's see, what do I have? I have some pebbles. I think that'll be good. I have some, ooh, little wood log slices, little babies, like tree branches that have been trimmed. So those are cool. And this is noisy, sorry. <laughs> and also some moss. But I want it to be fanciful and fun. So I think also some lights would be good. Let's see, where are my lights at? Where are my lights at? Oh, they're all done? Yeah, all done. And oh. oh, wow. My helper was so helpful so that she put them back in the box and I didn't know. Thank you, helper. <laughs> okay, so this is the Firefly box of, of um, 30 count lights. And if you were to buy one of our um, ready to go um, kits online that is our glass blocks, we have four kits available. Two of them will just have fillers. This is one of the ones with the fillers. I think it has moss, the vinyl, and this. And then there's two with vinyl glass and lights and flicker paper, which we will get to. But uh, all these components are available in the stores as well. And we have lots and lots of choices. Okay, but I'm back to the lights. Um, the Firefly lights um, that I'm going to use are the 30 count, but we sell these in 50, 20 count, 50 count, 100 count, 200 count. They do not come with batteries. You gotta put three AA batteries in there. And I'm just going to turn this on so you can see them. And they come with a remote. And the remote has all these different settings so that you can change what the what the lights do, the pattern that they they go into. Like this one is just dims back and forth, and then it go, rotates around. You can make them flash, you can make them psychedelic, whatever you want to do. And it also has a timer, so it'll stay on for um, six hours and then turn itself off so it doesn't waste your battery. There is a battery in your remote, but not in your battery pack. Okay. Another cool add-on. And 
this is something we just added to our website as well, are these blocks, which you can paint or stain or leave them as they are. But this guy can be a hidey hole for your battery pack and you could feed the batteries through this hole and up through this hole and it can serve as a stand for, I guess you can't see it that way, I'll turn it this way, but it can serve as a stand for your block. So, and then like I said, you can paint this or stain it or draw on it or color it, whatever you want, or leave it plain. That's just a, an additional option if you wanted to. Okay. So let's do this project. This one I'm gonna do the filler. So at kind of a, so I'm gonna fill from the bottom. So I'm gonna put what I want at the top in first, and then work my way down. So I think I'm gonna go moss, wood, rocks. To me, that seems natural. <laughs> what do you guys think? Say hi to me. Say hello. Type me messages. I like to read what you guys are thinking. <laughs> okay. The other thing that might be handy is some kind of a tool because this. This is a pretty good size opening. I can kind of get my hand in there. That's about as far as I can go. <laughs> so something to stick it down into, like maybe a wooden dowel or chopsticks. I'm gonna use a paintbrush, the handle end of the paintbrush. So I want some moss in there. So I'm gonna stuff that in there. Scooch that up to the top kinda. And then I think I want to do some lights as well. Okay. If you stretch this out, it's about three feet long. I think that's right. Yeah, about three. Yeah, three feet. So I'm gonna feed this in part of the part of the way. I want it to be on top of the moss, I think. There we go. And now I want to do some wood. Some of these wood rounds. Oh, these are so cute. Look at these little guys. Oh my gosh, I just had an idea. Wouldn't it be fun? You know, at Christmas time, we sell those, um, hi Renee, at Christmas time we sell those clear ornaments. Wouldn't it be fun to fill one like part way with, with these little guys? It won't fit it. None of, some of these big ones might not fit, but these, these little guys, that'd be cute. Okay, I'm gonna feed these into the, ooh, they're going everywhere. I'm gonna feed these into the bottom opening. I'm going for a northwesty look. What do you think? Am I getting it? And like I said in the beginning, like these are so fun because I'm gonna put feed it some more lights in. These are so fun because you can change these whenever you want to. So I can put in, like I said, I, maybe I'll put some pine cones in later or something. I'm gonna give it a bunch of rocks, or sorry, wood slices, and then I'll put some rocks. I think on the angle that I'm at, it might be kind of hard to read these words, but um, it looks like it through the camera, but when I'm looking at it in person, I can see them perfectly. But I have, when we get on to the next project, I'll show you a fun piece of paper that can will change your world. Okay, then let's add some rocks. save this handy bag because I don't want rocks going everywhere. I'm not going to use all of them. This is a nice bag. I like it. Clever. Alright. I wonder if I should do another layer of moss.
You, oh, Renee says you're doing it upside down. You can. I was saying you can do it either direction. I was doing it this direction because I'm going to show you how you can bring the wire and hide it underneath. You can fill it from the top or the bottom. In this case, I'm not going to have anything on the top to um, hide where that hole would be. So in this case, I want the hole to be at the bottom. We'll do, I'll do one that's the other direction though. This is the first of four that I'm gonna make, so I have three more after this one. Renee says some more moss, you think? Okay, I'll try to put stuff a little bit more in there. Try to get them between my rocks and my wood slices. So I'm just, I'm gonna try, this, this moss bag is pretty cool because it has all different kinds of moss. So I'm picking kind of a different color and texture. At this point, I'm close to, you can see, at this point, I'm close to the bottom of the container, so I can just use my fingers to get in there. But for getting stuff up in there, you can use the end of a toothbrush, or <laughs> the end of a toothbrush, oh, I guess. Maybe a toothbrush you're not gonna use again. <laughs> I'm using the end of a paintbrush. <laughs> or a wooden dowel or something like that. Okay, how does that look? and then get some more of these lights in there. More lights. Okay. Now where's my stopper at? Here it is. I'm gonna get some of the stuff out of the way. Good thing I put that paper down. Look at this mess I made. Hey, you're not having fun crafting unless you're making a mess, right? <laughs> okay, so where's that block at? So this was, Renee, this is the block I was talking about that I can hide the um, control um, box in here if I want to. And then I can set this whole guy up on top of here. Now I'm going to turn it flat so you guys can see, but I'll let you look at it from the top down first. So now it's standing on top of this wood block and it raises it up a little bit higher too. Um, and these, these wood blocks are sold unfinished and we do sell them online as well as in the stores. But you can cover them with some really cool scrapbook paper or you could paint them. Here's one that's been painted. Sorry. <laughs> so you could paint one or you could doodle on it if you wanted to. Um, you could stain it, whatever you want. So I'm going to turn it on its side so you get a better view of it. There you go. See? So you can hide, by putting the stopper at the bottom, you can hide the battery pack underneath. Isn't that fun? It's pretty, Renee says. Thank you. I like this one. Okay, I'm gonna set this one up right here. Okay, let's make another one. Can I have another glass box, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just tied it up clear. Did you clean it already? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll clean it. It's fine. Okay. So now I was telling you there's a magical paper that you can use. It's called holographic paper. Also in the store, we often call it flicker paper. It's this bad boy right here. We have lots of models in every, if you ever visit in our stores and you see these glass blocks on display, at least half of them look like there's these glowing stars inside of them. And you're like, how is that possible? This is the magic. This little piece of paper is magical and you're gonna want it. <laughs> so, but before, remember I said, you gotta clean your glass first. And first thing I'm gonna do is take the stickers off of it.
Good thing I'm not doing my nails to get my nails done till tomorrow. <laughs> I, you know what the best thing is for taking stickers off is not your fingernails, but it's a product called Undo. You just saturate this. You just saturate the sticker with it, and it just peels right off. And with a sticker, what's great about it, now this I wouldn't want to reuse, but the great thing about Undo is you can, if you take use it to take a sticker off, it doesn't hurt the sticker. Your sticker will stay intact in one piece, and you can let the let it air dry, and then it'll be sticky again, and you can use it again. That is just one of the many tidbits that I will share in a future live video where we discuss all things adhesive, including Undo, which is an adhesive remover of sorts. <laughs> yes, a heat tool would help melt the, help melt this and get it up, get it up as well. Okay, for sake of time, I'm gonna call it good for now, though. Oh, I my helper got me one done first. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna clean it with some good old fashioned blue cleaner stuff. And like I was saying earlier, it is helpful to clean the glass before you put work with it at all because it will help whatever you're doing to stay where you put it. So just, it doesn't have to be super fancy, just a quick, quick wipe. Okay, and just make sure it's dry. Okay, this one, Renee, I'm also going to do upside down because um, this one is the only filler this is going to have is a light. So this one is the flicker paper. This one, these are already cut to size to fit the glass blocks, but if you're ever doing something with them in a smaller um, surface, you need to trim it before you use it. So I've just taken it out of the plastic, and like the other one, this it has a transfer release. And you just peel and stick, mm -hmm. like, a, like a giant sticker. Has anyone used flicker paper before? This is gonna be magical. <laughs> so I'm gonna peel it away, and it's thicker than paper, it's kinda like a, a film. Does it, film sounds like it's thinner. What do I mean by thicker? It's like, Laminating. it's kinda like laminate. Yeah, it's kinda like laminate. It's kinda how it feels. So I'm gonna remove the back paper. I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to place it onto my block. Like I say, it's already cut to size. And then just spread out from the middle. And this kind of makes it look kind of um, foggy, right? That popping noise is I'm just working out the air bubbles. This is where you might get back to that, your whatever tool you use to use to apply your um, vinyl with and just squish those out, squish any bubbles out. Okay, because these these glasses, these glass blocks do have a slight beveled edge that goes, goes up a little bit. So just work those bubbles out, okay? Well, how you're saying that for a smaller piece, you can cut it down. Yeah. Another trick is, well, maybe you want to do just a stripe of it and stuff, you could cut oh. and do strips and do it on the inside or on the outside. Oh, too. Or you, if you have a die cut machine like the Big Shot, oh, I see where you're going with this. Yep, you can cut out different shaped dies and stick those in random places. So when the light hits those areas, you have a different effect in those. That is others. an awesome idea. So you're saying we could run before I peel it off of here, before I peel it off the paper backing, mm -hmm. run it through the die cut machine, cut out a heart, let's say. Yep. And then stick the heart on here. Then I will only have heart fog mm -hmm. look. And then I, it will look like clear glass on the outside. And then wherever the lights are, it will look different on each. That is an excellent idea. Good job. Okay. Um, oh, somebody's asked. Yes, the, the um, flicker paper, also called holographic paper, is sold with the glass blocks. So wherever the glass blocks are, you're going to find these guys. 
Okay, so now I wanted to show you why it's so magical. So I'm gonna use some lights again, this time blue ones. I should have had you unwind these for me, Storm. That's all right, okay. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, I'm taking off the little bottom piece. I'm gonna turn the lights on. Ooh, blue. Okay, you see what they look like, right? Now, let's stuff them in and see what they look like under the flicker paper. What? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Do you see, whoa, do you see this? This is so cool. That is the magical flicker paper. It's not the, it's the same old, it's the same old lights. There's just behind the flicker paper. Wow, so cool, right? Look at that. That is awesome. So, so cool. What do you guys think? Hi, Barbara, hello. Okay, so I've got the flicker lights going in there. Let's see, let's try some different modes. There, ooh, I like that one. That's pretty cool. Just leave it steady. There, we'll let it do its thing. Okay. So now I'm gonna put a vinyl on top of here. And the cool thing about this is um, because it don't it won't have because of the opaqueness of this flicker paper, it won't have as much compete to read the design. So in this case, I'm gonna choose something that's a little bit more of a, a um, intricate design. I'm gonna do this one. Have you? Who is a fan of Friends? I know I am. <laughs> Um, oh, you're asking if the paper has patterns. No, it doesn't. It's, it's just the lights. The lights make it do that. So here's the lights by, by themselves. And then you just stick it in there. And this magical holographic paper makes it look like that. Isn't that cool? So awesome. Okay. But because it's opaque, this would be a good option for... A more intricate design and this one just has skinnier uh, font and it has these different colored dots that might look familiar to a certain logo to you from you <laughs> my favorite character is Chandler I don't know about you guys but he's my favorite okay so I'm gonna Joey Joey oh we gotta you have to have Joey you have to have all of them I agree <laughs> but Chandler's my favorite we got a Joey fan in the house <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna scoot the lights over to the side. I'll leave them in the frame because you can enjoy the the stars. But I'm gonna pre prepare the vinyl to be transferred by rubbing over the top of it while it's still encased in the transfer paper. And going over every letter and every dot. If you like this vinyl, you can get this on our online store too. And all online orders that are over $25 this weekend to get free shipping. It's just our temporary online store. We're actually working on a big one and it just is kind of cumbersome. It's not kind of, it is. And it's just taken us a while, but we're working diligently on it. But we have thousands of items available on our current site and free shipping at $25 right now. Okay, so I've, I've transferred the vinyl to the front or I've attempted to. I'm going to peel to make sure that it has transferred. Looking good. I'm gonna touch it where there's no vinyl. Move my block back in place. And then I'm gonna place this on top. This is a really cute one to give to a friend, I think. Okay. And then I'm gonna use that tool again. You can use the a credit card or a little squeegee tool. This is the bone folder. Um, just something that's kind of dull and blunt. 
and I'm rubbing over the top of each letter and each dot. And that is ensuring that the sticky backside of the vinyl is transferred to the glass block, or in this case, the, the flicker paper that's on the glass block. Okay, when you think you have it, start peeling and peel side to side, gently. So far, so good. Oh, you guys, I already can tell this looks awesome. <laughs> so <laughs> Samantha says, clap for friends thing. <laughs> I agree, I agree. This is magical. You are right, Renee. This is magical. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, okay. See that piece? Did you guys see that happen? It didn't want to transfer all the way. It, it fell off, which is good. But I'm just going to put my paper back on and give it a little rub. Give it a little love. Okay. Peeling, peeling. Woo. Good. Okay. Is it just me or am I the only one that knows this, this is also the title of a Bon Jovi song? <laughs> okay that is really that actually went on very easily now is this not a fun block or what you love this oh thank you stephanie says that of all the craft stores that she's been in craft warehouse gives you the most has gives you so many wonderful ideas thank you stephanie we miss working and playing with you guys in person. It's been, it's been rough. We're all pretty sad about it, honestly. The best part of our job is getting to play with customers. And so um, we don't want to, and we love sharing ideas. And this is a great way to be a little bit social um, and use Facebook Live for this kind of stuff. So um, we're going to do more Facebook Lives in the future. In fact, I'm planning on doing um, an informational one all about adhesive soon. <laughs> yeah uh oh you're carrie oh sherry you're wondering if we have lights to plug in instead of battery yes we do we have both options okay this one i'm going to actually put i'm going to scoot this up so you can see i'm going to actually put the battery pack right up inside of here because you can't even see it <laughs> because of that magical flicker paper and then i'm just going to i'll turn it upside down I'm just putting the little stopper in there, and there is my um, lights, or my glass block. Isn't that cool? Yep, that's the flicker paper. Isn't that cool? Am I? Oh, turn up the volume. Um, I'll try to talk louder. I don't have a volume control, but I will definitely try to talk louder. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Is this paper available online too? I don't know if it's available individually, but there's definitely two glass block kits that have vinyl flicker paper. Um, but since if you would like us to, Sarah, um, to put the, the flicker paper online, I can ask for that to happen and they'll put it up right away. Thank you. Okay. The next one we're gonna make, what if you wanna make a glass block? Oh, I'm sorry. Renee says some sort of starting to have Classes and make it takes that you need to be six part a pair apart wear a mask and that oh, yeah yeah we haven't figured out quite how to do that yet or how to police that yet that's um, we hope to be able to do events and stores soon but either way we're still going to continue to do on live stuff so we can reach even more people because there's a lot of folks that just even if they we did offer the six feet apart distancing make and takes in the store um, it would still be difficult or even impossible for some of our great customers to be able to come because they just they can't expose themselves in that way so we're still going to do online stuff even beyond even when this even even for, for the long haul <laughs> okay so now i want to talk about doing alcohol ink um you can change the color of the glass block to a color that you like you don't have to have a clear one and we're going to show I'm going to show you two different ways to do that so I'm going to get the sky out of the way okay. actually I'm going to put all these out of the way because I'm going to need a lot of room <laughs> okay. 
Did y'all get to see this one? Isn't this cute? Just some florals stuffed in there and then tied a burlap around the top. Isn't that cute? Okay, we're just getting ready for some alcohol ink. Okay. So, where's that white piece? Oh, you got one for me? It's not a piece of paper, but it's I don't want that. I don't want that one. Okay. A six by six works best. A six by six? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a five by. So we're gonna do an alcohol ink one. This is a, a fun way to change the color of something. Alcohol ink can change the color of pretty much of virtually anything that is non-porous. And glass is a perfect example of that. Okay, so I'm gonna use the pinata colors, but you can use Tim Holtz um, alcohol ink too. But I wanted to use this one because this one is available online as well as in our stores. Okay, so I'm gonna pick three colors. I'm gonna do the Baja Blue and Passion Purple. Am I picking your favorite colors or what? And how about some Rich Gold? Okay. So the color is just is just the alcohol ink, and then the Rich Gold has some um, mica. I don't know. It has sparkly stuff and it is heavier than the ink so it kind of sits to the bottom so it has a little shaker bead in there that you'll have to shake up when you use it. And then I need an applicator tool and some pieces of felt. Okay. And I'm gonna, this has a bit of Velcro on it. I'm just gonna stick the felt right on that Velcro. And this is how I'm going to get the alcohol onto the glass block. Now I already um, colored the, the other side of this glass block so that it's ready to go, but I wanted to show you the process. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna color the back side at this point. We stuffed a piece of paper in here so you could see what was happening a little bit better. This paper would not be in there when you're doing that. I just kind of stuffed it in there so you could see what was happening. No, it does not matter which brand of alcohol ink. You can do either, whatever brand that you want. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the blue. And these have a, like an eyedropper type tip. And I'm just gonna squeeze some out directly onto this felt pad. Okay. And now I'm literally going to pounce it. Pounce, pounce, pounce. It might get a little noisy. <laughs> Let me get over the white so you can see what's happening. What? It's that easy, seriously, I'm just, I mean, can you do this? <laughs> That's how easy it is, no skill. And that, those few drops I put on there go a long way. So I'm just gonna turn it back and forth. I'm kind of, I'm gonna do like the top, say third of this block, the front of this block, I should say. Turning back and forth. And is that not gorgeous? Look at that color. Are we liking it? Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna do some purple. So I, I could change this pad and put a new one on and do purple, or I can just use it as is. I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna put purple on this part that I haven't done yet. Are you guys liking the alcohol ink? We'll do, I have another Facebook Live in the future where we will use alcohol ink to color sand. I'm excited about that one. Okay, so I'm putting a few drops on the side of the felt that I hadn't already used. 
Barbara wants to know if we need to use a sealer when we're done. Um, you don't have, I'm not going to, and you don't have to, but if you would like to, you can. What's going to, what's going to take this off is anything with alcohol. So if you were to clean it with any kind of solution that has alcohol in it, or if you were to hand, san sanitize your hands with hand sanitizer and then touch it before your hands dried, you would have <laughs> fingerprints. <laughs> um, so you could seal it if you want to, but that's good to know because if you don't like what you do, you can remove it with alcohol and start over. And going with that too, yes. if let's say you're making this because you're redoing your bathroom, okay, then yes, you would have to seal it because the moisture level in those rooms affects the glass. Oh, good point. So Stormy is saying that if you um, are going to have this, like say in your kitchen or a bathroom or somewhere like that, you might want to go ahead and seal it at that point. Okay, so I've got a little bit of purple on here. And this time I'm gonna turn it so the blue is at the top. So when I pounce, my blue will go back over my blue and my purple will go just below. And then I'm gonna go up and down a little bit so the two can blend. Look at this color, you guys. Oh, are you drooling over this color? Look at this. And now I'm gonna go back and forth so these two can kind of blend together. The wonderful, amazing thing about alcohol ink is that each new color you add makes room for itself. So you can just let it, just as it goes, it just like blends and does, does its thing. So I'm blending these two together so I can get a cool like deeper blue. I'm kind of going for sort of an ombre-ish, ombre-ish, is that a word? Look here. So do you have to use a full stopper? Oh, one question is about whether or not you have to use the felt. Felt is the, for the technique that I'm using, the felt is really, really the easiest. They do make foam versions of this, which you can also use. Um, those are easy, those will give you a, a smoother blend, but I'm looking for that modeled look. The downside to using foam is that it soaks up a lot of the alcohol ink and it kind of wastes, it's kind of wasteful. I mean, I'm only using a couple of drops, so it's not that, it's not as if, it's, it, it's not expensive. But I just like, I love alcoholing so much, I don't want to waste any. Um, I have once, I will tell you a story, a short one. Um, I once was assigned to color something that was metal, because you can color anything that is non porous with alcoholing. I was once assigned to color something that was metal, and I needed it done in half an hour. And I had the alcohol ink, I had the metal, but I had no uh, applicator. So I did find some rubber gloves, which was very handy because if this gets on you, it, is, it does stain like right here. This finger is going to be stained for a little bit. Um, <laughs> but what I used was a, a, um, a wad of coffee filters. <laughs> and it did work. I, ha I did use a lot of coffee filters, but it did work. Um, people are asking about what, what kind of sealer? Krylon is the best. Krylon would be best, okay. Otherwise, I would go with brush on triple thick. Okay. And then that would be my next choice if you want a cheaper spray on one that's quick. Okay. And a gloss. And a gloss. A gloss one. So Krylon would be your first choice. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to spray, um, then you would recommend the brush on triple thick. Mm -hmm. And then this would be another option, a more affordable option. Yep. Okay. Okay, so next, oh, I want to get, I want some just purple. So I'm going to take off this pad and get a new one. There's, um, the refill pack has a bunch, is in a 50, 50 of these little guys. So it's pretty cool. And this, these are, th this process that I'm doing is a really fun thing to do at, um, Christmas time, uh, to do, uh, um, glass ornaments. I'm going to do a, just a little bit more purple if it doesn't have any blue on it. I'm going to bring it almost all the way down. Okay. And then for my final, look at this beautiful shading I'm getting. Now for my final color, I'm going to do this rich gold. Shake it up, and then on this part of the clean part of the felt, or you could get a new one. I'm gonna put some of that gold. Look at that color. 
Okay, now I'm gonna be careful when I turn this over, I want gold down here and purple up here and the two to meet in the middle. So that's how, that's why I'm using a dirty pad because of this, it, it, my pad represents what I want. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna start at the bottom and get the gold going. And then work my way up. The glass block is rocking on my glass mat, so that's why what's making that noise. You do want to use a protected surface of some kind when playing with alcohol ink, because like I say, it can stain. Um, the glass mat is perfect. That's what I like to use, um, which is also available online. Um, and it cleans up very easily with alcohol, with blending solution, and or with hand sanitizer. If you don't have a glass mat, you can you can just kind of put, put down some like, um, Put your paper or newspaper or something like that, even aluminum foil, something just to protect your surface. Now, because this has that those mica or whatever the stuff is in here, it's a little bit more opaque. So I'm gonna put it on a little bit thicker because I really want it to be gold. And now I'm gonna start coming up into the purple so I can get a cool blend. This is pretty. Love it. Now, this is how I'm choosing to apply it. You could apply it like this. You could apply it directly from the bottle and, and kind of let it do its thing. Um, there's lots of different techniques for applying alcohol ink. This is just what I'm doing this time. Because again, I wanted to kind of control the fade from one color to the next. Okay. I'm gonna call this one done. Put the, uh, this is me we're dealing with. I'm gonna put the lid on because I know I will knock that over if I don't. Okay, take those for me. Mm -hmm. Put these back in the box. Okay, I'm gonna take my paper out. I know, see, it's a good thing I have that paper and then I can't even appreciate it. I'm going to get a big piece of paper again. There we go. Okay. What do you guys think? You like that gold on there, Renee? I know, it's pretty. Let me kind of turn it in the light a little bit. See how much shine it has? It's not cool. So it's I still appreciate in the regular colors that wasn't that wasn't didn't have any metallic in it. Um, it's still transparent, but now I get to have color. And then it will be fun to put a vinyl on top of that. But I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry just for it doesn't dry very quickly. But I'm just gonna make sure it's totally dry, and I'm gonna move on to one other one, and then I'll come back. So the one way to color is to put the alcohol ink on. The other way to color is to use tinted spray. So this is not this is not traditional spray paint. This is tint spray paint. So this just puts a tint, like the lid. See how it's a tint of color. So I, in the interest of time, I did that before we started. So here it is tinted. I need another piece of white so you can see that one too. Here we go. Okay, tinted. Uh, yes, like the ocean, isn't it pretty? And we, and we sell tinted in a rainbow of colors. Okay, in this one, I wanna put multicolor lights. Ooh, can you see the different lights? We've got purple, blue, green. Personal favorite. That, this is your personal favorite one? For the multis, that is my personal favorite. <laughs> and let's put a little, let's see, what else do I, I'm going to use some sparkly tool. Yes, that has sparkle. And I'm going to, should I use this, you think? Or the blue ones? Let's do a test one. Just kind of shove it. I don't know. It's oh, you can see the blue. I don't know 
if you're gonna be able to see this. Although, it will look kind of like ice in there. Mm -hmm. Should we do this one? I could do a mix. No. Do I have a white in there? Ooh, yeah, you do have what white you, eyes. Oh, I have white too. My little Islands has more, and it's just going to look this color anyway. Why don't I just do this one? Yep. Okay. See, we're just crafting on the go. Okay, so we have all different kinds of what they call filler. <laughs> um, from the pebbles to those wood slices you saw me use earlier, we have all kinds of marbles. Um, these are cool. It's like a bag of what looks like ice. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's drop up some of those in. This might get a little bit loud. There we go. That actually does look cool. I don't, can you see? Don't, I'm going to turn it. That actually looks really cool. Let me get some lights down in there. So see, Renee, I'm doing this one right side up <laughs> with the hole at the top. And that's because this time I'm going to cover that up later with some of this tool. You wanna help me? Mm -hmm. You wanna stuff that in there? Yep. And then maybe use a tool to get it, mix it up into the ice a little. So the first part is getting it into the rocks itself, just because of the way they're shaped, they like to interlock like a puzzle piece. So I'm at least trying to pick up a couple to hold down the lights where I want them. But okay. okay. So it, if you were to um, have instructed me earlier, <laughs> you would have said only put half the block, half the rocks in there, <laughs> and then do some lights. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. You can see, you, it's just crafty. We're allowed to mess up and start over. And that's what's great about this. There's no glue. Or paint, so no happy little accidents. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, it looks really cool in the, in the ice. So, good move. Oops. Careful. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Thank you for your help with that one. Okay, I'm going to turn it on its side so you can see what's happening here. There we go. Okay. So we have the cool different color lights in there. We've got purple and green and blue going on. And now I'm going to add a vinyl. I think in this one here, uh, may you touch dragonflies and stars, dance with fairies, and talk to the moon. This is so cute. Wouldn't this be cute for a little girl's room? Love it. Okay, so remember that we need to rub the transfer. Now this one has lots of little words and in a thin font, so this will look better on something that has been either alcohol inked or painted or has those that cool um, flicker paper on. 
it doesn't mean you can't put it on a totally clear one. It just might be a little bit harder to read. When you think you have it all transferred pretty well, you just start to peel the paper. Peel carefully and slowly to make sure that you have transferred the sticky part of the vinyl to the top of the transfer paper. Perfect. Okay. Like I say, they're cut to size. This vinyl is available online too. This fairy reminds me of Tinkerbell. Okay, and then rub. So you see where she has this delicate little um, cut out in her wings. You want to make sure you cut all, you rub all around all of that stuff so that it fully transfers. I would say I'm rubbing with like a medium to heavy pressure. It's kind of like when you're doing, um, um, like carve, do you call it carve rubbings? Like, what do you call that? Like when you rub over a, a leaf? Yeah, like yeah. a rubbing. Yeah. Kind of like that. Okay, when well, you think you got it, start to peel. And remember, I'm going back and forth. Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Friends reference. <laughs> this is transferring. It transfer vinyl transfers so easily on glass. I love it. Okay, right here it didn't. I'm gonna put it down and give it a little rub right there. Or give it a little love, I like to say. Okay. <laughs> I definitely gotta fix this one because otherwise it would say moo instead of moon. And I want that little period at the end. There we go. Now we're revealing the pretty color of the tinted paint that we used. You can see the lights and the ice in the block. And we have this beautiful vinyl. Voila. A little bit of patience with your vinyl helps a lot, goes a long way. This is a cute project. Let's, fin let's give it a little embellishment with some tool. I'm gonna say about two yards. Whoa, this stuff is glittery. <laughs> Woo! Gotta have our glitter. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my, oh my. This is so pretty. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I've, I cut off about two yards. And I'm gonna wrap it around the top and just tie it in a bow. Where's the little lid after this guy at? Can you find my lid? Uh, I got one. tie this tool around it and then I'm gonna make it fluffy so fluffy so fluffy <laughs> that's pretty Right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn this on in so we can see it. Isn't that cute? This would be so cute in a little girl's room, don't you think? Okay, so we're gonna finish the alcoholic one and then I'll go back and show each one that we've done and then we'll be done. Okay? Do we like do we love this one? Yes, do we love it? I love it. Which one is your favorite that I've done? The mountain one? Okay, let's get back to the alcohol ink. This guy back in the picture. Okay, so we've got the pretty teal and the purple where they mix. I got kind of this pretty navy blue color, and then we have the gold accent at the bottom. And I already painted the other side as well. Okay, so now let's put a vinyl on. I was gonna do the vibe. Yeah, I think this is a fun one, and then we also are gonna need some white. Do we have more white today? Mm This is a fun vinyl, and it's so and it it, it is so true. Your vibe attracts your tribe. <laughs> yeah, let's put these lights in there. Oh, that's cool. I like how they look like they're different colors under the alcohol ink. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I think you guys know the drill on the vinyl, right? Take it out of the package, rub it. Peel it. Stick it where you want. Now I just, I'm, I keep centering it but we could put it off to the side. The other thing you can do is, before I peeled it, you could trim it and put different words where you wanted them, but I am gonna center it. I don't know. I'm nothing if not consistent. <laughs> okay, and let's rub. I'm gonna start bringing the other ones back over here and we'll show you all of the finished. Okay. This vinyl is also available online and I believe it's one of the kits you can get. Oh my gosh, I already love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is awesome. I'm gonna bring this closer to the camera maybe so you guys can see it. There we go. It's about turning the light the right way. In person, these are all very easy to read, but isn't that cool? Okay. Do you wanna, where's the lid for this guy? Okay, so we're, I'm gonna go ahead and show you each one again, so you can look at them. You wanna let's take out, let's take away the glass mat. Yeah. 
Okay. So here is the alcohol ink one. Let's let's have a vote. Which one is your favorite? Alcohol ink. Renee says you like Renee likes this one. Okay. And before the alcohol ink one, we did the tinted spray with the ice and the little fairy saying. Is it better to have the opening at the top or the bottom? You, if you're gonna have it at the top, you wanna put something fluffy or lights or um, ribbon over the top so you can hide the little opening. If you're not going to put something on it, like this one, then it's better to have that opening at the bottom. And or depending on how you want to deal, if you're gonna have firefly lights, where you want the lights to go. And on that note, we have the mountain one. And on this one, I have the opening at the bottom, but I put it on this stand. I'm gonna lift it off so you can see the stand. So this, <laughs> without the lid. <laughs> um, that's okay, things happen, it's live. The stand is um, this wood, um, hollow wood box that you can hide your little battery pack in if you wanted to. I'm gonna put my rocks back in. And as we were saying in the beginning, like if you do, if you um, do some, do a project like the glass blocks with filler, then you could change out the filler when you want to, or when it falls out, like what happened to me. <laughs> I just didn't put my um, lid in all the way. I've heard of folks using these as piggy banks. And you can do like a little like savings account with them. But anyway, you can use this wood stand if you want to hide the bottom to hold your um, battery pack. So here's the mountain one. It says, let's get to, let's get outside. There we go. Can you see that? I have to turn it in the light. In persons, they're all very legible. Oh, yes, and we have the flicker light one. It's so cute. This was the not to friends. <laughs> so this has blue lights inside of it, but it has the flicker paper, which makes the lights look like stars. Isn't that cool? If you wanted to, Renee, if you wanted to, you could glue the, you could glue the lid in place or put a little bit of, um, you could put like a, um, a bead of like hot glue around here and just let it like cool a little bit and then put it on. Or use beacon three and one or use beacon three and one but I like to leave them I like to leave them um, a option to take it out and to change things and I want to pull these lights out so I can remind you guys see these are just regular firefly lights it's the cool flicker paper also known as holographic paper that we that film that we put on it just looks like this in the store so you might walk right by it but if you're buying glass blocks this right there next to them they're already cut to the size of a glass block and you put so when you put that film on the block it makes whatever lights you put in there look like stars it's not not cool yes I think do we all agree that flicker paper is the favorite one right just for the flicker part so, which block do we like best? Somebody who says the outdoor one. Samantha, that's your favorite one. Is the let's get outdoors. Yeah, I really like that one too. That one probably matches my decor the best. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. What? You want to do something? Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna steal the lights from this one real quick. So what's cool about firefly lights, uh, on comparison to Christmas lights, firefly lights don't get hot. So what that means is you can put material that's more plasticky, like tulle, on the inside and you can loop them together. Shove that into 
oh, a yeah. glass block. Yeah. So depending on your tool colors or color, that's a great way to make a simple wedding decoration. That is that is an excellent idea. Yeah, I like that. And you just only have about a yard of tool there, but if you if you did about three or four yards of tool, mm -hmm. that would be really pretty. And we and this is just a blue tool, but we have it in all different colors. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, it was very informative. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I hope you all had fun. I know I did. I got my crafting on tonight. It was fun. Um, again, there is uh, free shipping at $25 on our website this weekend. So it's tonight and tomorrow still. And um, four, we have four different glass block kits on there if you want. and we have Or we have vinyl, all kinds of vinyl by itself on those on the website as well, as long, along with thousands of other items. Um, I am the next the next live that we're going to do I think will be on Thursday afternoon at two o'clock I think and that's going to be an informative one all about adhesives um, and it is already if you're wondering wanting to get notices and that kind of thing from now on they are listed as events on our Facebook page so that's where you can um, so if you're if you like our Facebook page um, that's how you'll get sort of that notice. Yeah, I had to put them back in here because of the flicker lights, you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Samantha. Thank you. Thanks, Stormy, for joining me tonight. My helper. You're welcome. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> bye, guys. Thank you.